the exit plan of astronomers has found using our new 10 billion toy it will be years before that project becomes a reality if it goes as planned. The journey to Proxima B will take about 20 years, so realistically, it will be several decades before we can confirm if there is indeed life on that planet. The age-old question of whether we are truly alone in this universe persists. The James Webb Telescope has discovered some terrifyingly human-esque things far, far away from Earth that lead us closer to the answer. Our search for life outside of us has been rampant throughout each human civilization, so much so that we have thousands and thousands of media, literature, and theories on this subject. Our wonder regarding our place and loneliness in the universe has been constant, as if it is ingrained inside of us to always search for a companion, no matter how alien-like we might be. We might be getting closer and closer to the answers we truly want, but are they truly the answers we are looking for, or are they much more terrifying? Join us as we explore the latest discovery in the realms of galaxies and planets on the quest to find something we might not be prepared to witness. Lights far, far away, scientists have discovered what could be the most groundbreaking discovery in history. Back in 2021, when the James Webb Space Telescope was scheduled to launch, a very interesting hypothetical question was raised about the capabilities of our technology. The question was whether in the future our telescopes could detect artificial light on another planet, such as Proxima b, the closest exoplanet to Earth. Proxima b, about 4.25 light-years away, was believed to be tidally locked with a permanent day side and night side similar to our moon. A hypothetical technological civilization on Proxima b might transfer heat and electricity from the day side to the night side using photovoltaic cells that generate electricity from starlight. Subsequently, in a paper with Manus V. Lingam as one of the researchers, it was shown that significant coverage of the day side by solar panels could be detected with future telescopes. Since JWST was more advanced, it would allow us to extend our search for artificial lights to habitable exoplanets like Proxima b. Now, in 2024, it is possible that the James Webb Space Telescope did just that. Using its higher sensitivity and greater range of capabilities, the JWST might have discovered the lights we were looking for and possibly hurled us into another big surge of human evolution. But first, let us dive into the world of planets and exoplanets to learn how all this was even possible. James Webb's mission explores Proxima Centauri B secrets. Throughout history, humans have wondered about the nature of the universe, what we are, where we come from, and where we go. These are common yet extremely difficult questions that mankind has tried to answer as soon as he gained consciousness. Now, in the age of exponential technological advancement, one wonders if we are any closer to answering these questions. If you were to ask a philosopher, he might say we are still at level zero of understanding ourselves in the universe. However, ask an astronomer the same thing and watch him jump up and down in excitement as he rushes to tell you the latest discovery humans have made about the universe using their nifty tools. These tools, although not paid much attention to by the average public, are quite literally a manifestation of human evolution itself. We now have the world at our fingertips, and it is time we move forward and get the universe at our fingertips as well. One such way to do that has been deduced by scientists and astronomers through the technology we harness. A specific creation of that technology is now responsible for the recent discovery of what might be light on a different planet light years away. Yes, we're talking about the James Webb Space Telescope. The James Webb Space Telescope is the creation born out of the legacies of human expeditions into space to answer some ever-present questions, are we alone? Who's out there? Where do we begin, and where do we end? This infrared astronomy tool has already begun answering these questions, although partially. First, you might find yourself asking what Proxima b is. Proxima Centauri b, or just Proxima b, is sometimes referred to as Alpha Centauri cb. It is a super-Earth exoplanet and orbits an M-type star. Super-Earth exoplanets might confuse you, but do not worry, as this text will quell all your burning questions. Super-Earths are a class of planets that are more massive than Earth, yet lighter than ice giants like Neptune and Uranus. They are truly one of a kind. They can be made up of gas, rock, or even a combination of both, and their sizes can vary from twice the size of Earth to ten times its mass. They really put the super in super-Earth. As for Proxima b, it is a super-Earth and an exoplanet, meaning that it is a planet that traverses outside the solar system. The very first possible evidence of an exoplanet was found in 1917, although it managed to stir up little curiosity and recognition. However, in 1992, the first confirmed detection occurred, which left scientists speechless. Another exoplanet first detected in 1988 was confirmed in 2003. As of April 1, 2024, there are 5,653 confirmed exoplanets in 4,161 planetary systems. 
Out of these, 896 systems have more than one planet. These marvelous discoveries are orbiting an M-type star. To explain the M-type star, you need to understand the red dwarf. A red dwarf is the smallest kind of star in the main sequence, hence the name. In the neighboring regions of the Sun, red dwarfs are by far the most common type of star to be found in the Milky Way. They have very low luminosity, and since luminosity is one of our main tools for planet detection and other types of deductions, red dwarfs are not that easy to observe. The sneaky stars have variable definitions and names depending on their temperatures and sizes. For example, M dwarfs, or M type main sequence stars, yield a maximum temperature of 3000K, hence getting their name and attributes. Coming back to Proxima b, its mass is known to be equivalent to 1.07 Earths. Interestingly, it only takes 11.2 days to complete one orbit of its star, compared to our 365.25 days. You can estimate the size of the star Proxima b is orbiting. Staggeringly, under the measurement of the entire electromagnetic spectrum, the star has a total luminosity of only about 1.6% that of the Sun additionally, in the visible light spectrum, its luminosity seems to dull even more as it appears fainter. It only illuminates 5-6% to of the Sun's luminosity in the visible light spectrum, emitting a significantly lesser amount of light energy compared to the Sun. Over 85% of its emitted energy is in the form of infrared radiation. Orbiting about 0.045 to 0.056 Australian dollars away from its star, Proxima b's discovery was announced way back in 2016. You might be wondering, why Proxima b? With millions of stars, planets, and galaxies, why are we so fixated on this particular celestial body? Well, there are a few reasons that contribute to the keen interest astronomers have in this place. First and foremost, Proxima b is the closest known star to our Sun, and by definition, although 4.2 light years is a big number to us Earthlings, in the grand scheme of the universe, it is a mere blip. Hence why Proxima b, our closest known star, is high up on the priority list at the moment. It is also a part of the triple star system called Alpha Centauri, and although Proxima's luminosity is very low, the system itself appears as one of the brightest constellations in the night sky, only behind two others called Sirius and Canopus. However, the most interesting thing about Proxima Centauri b is that it might potentially be habitable. Since it falls under the habitable zone, the possibilities surrounding the star are endless, and thus astronomers have taken on the expedition to explore the depths and limits of the potential of the star. That is where the James Webb Space Telescope comes in. The four key goals of the JWST are to search for light from the first stars and galaxies that formed in the universe after the Big Bang, study galaxy formation and evolution, understand star and planet formation, and study planetary systems and the origins of life. As the JWST continues its exploration of the said exoplanet, we get closer and closer to the completion of these missions, from searching for exoplanets to searching for alien life. So what exactly is SETI, one might ask? Considering that humans have always been a curious species, poking and prodding into literally anything and everything that moves and doesn't move, it makes sense that a quest like SETI came into existence on such a large scale. Imagine that God has organized a grand cosmic treasure hunt, but with a twist, instead of gold, we are tasked with being on the lookout for signals, more specifically, electromagnetic whispers from civilizations beyond our wildest dreams. SETI, short for the search for extraterrestrial intelligence, is like the world's most high-stakes game of hide-and-seek, with our planet as the seeker and the vast universe as the seemingly infinite hiding spot. It is one of those fields where scientists are modern-day Sherlocks, tuned into radio waves and scouring for that elusive, we are not alone, moment. This game of cosmic eavesdropping began in earnest in the 1960s. Frank Drake, a man who could make. Even the most skeptical among us consider the possibilities of life beyond, started Project Ozma. Using a radio telescope in West Virginia, he tuned into two nearby sun-like stars, hoping to catch some interstellar chatter. While he didn't find E.T., his work laid the groundwork for SETI's future. Fast forward to today, and SETI has grown from a small, hopeful project into a full-blown scientific field with a global community of researchers. The essence of SETI is simple yet profound, if there are other civilizations out there, they might be broadcasting their existence, either intentionally or as a byproduct of their own technology. With our ever-improving instruments, we aim to catch those signals, analyze them, and, hopefully, find proof that we are not the only sentient beings in the universe. The discovery of artificial light on Proxima b, as detected by the James Webb Telescope, is one of those pivotal moments in human history that make people wonder, what if? What if our world, our society, 
and everything we thought we knew about life were turned on its head by the confirmation of intelligent life elsewhere. What if those lights weren't just a coincidence? This discovery represents a potential turning point for SETI, as it could confirm what many have suspected, we are not alone. So, what does this all mean for the future of humanity? Should we be excited, or should we be terrified? As the James Webb Space Telescope continues to explore the reaches of the galaxy, more discoveries will be made that will further advance our understanding of the universe. In the meantime, the discovery of artificial light on Proxima b opens up new possibilities for the future of SETI, as we may soon have the means to communicate with intelligent civilizations beyond our own planet. Who knows what other discoveries the James Webb Space Telescope will uncover in the future?